it's it's obviously hurting a lot right now. Um, very tough game. Um, you all give some credit to Ireland. You know they're the number one team in the world for a reason. They were very clinical today, and um, you know at the end of the day we weren't. Um, we didn't put out the, the performance, especially in that first half that we were going to have to if we wanted to try and push the number one team in the world, and um, they made us pay for it. Just disappointment. Dis we know we're obviously disappointed in our performance. Um, it hurts. You know, to go out of the World Cup like this in this sort of fashion obviously isn't what we wanted, isn't the ambition that we had as a squad going into the tournament and um, yeah, it just hurts just now. Oh, at the end of the day, we didn't, we didn't come here to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Um, you know, we, we knew we had to win, to win uh, three games, you know, in the pool we were going to have to beat South Africa or Ireland and at the end of the day, we didn't, we didn't achieve that. Um, so obviously the disappointments from that, um, we stuff we can learn from it. But just now, it's obviously just hurting. Um, everyone's pretty emotional about it. Um, so, yeah. The body's all right, uh, I think, yeah. Um, we're obviously pretty gutted with the way uh, we came out. Um, yeah, Alan played a, a very structured game. Uh, everyone seemed to be on the same page from them. And yeah, we struggled to combat that. Uh, from this World Cup, like, I'm proud of the way the boys fought back there. Um, scored two really good tries. Um, Sadly, probably a little bit too little too late. Um, but yeah, like, I think we've, uh, we've taken a lot of lessons out of this World Cup. You know, we played world number one and world number two. And um, so we had a blueprint of uh, what it takes to be at the top of the game. And um, yeah, we're going to go back, we're going to work hard, and uh, hopefully we can put our best foot forward come the start of the Six Nations. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we, had, um, we had so many fans at all four of our games. Apologies. Um, and uh, like especially when we were out in Lille, the only fans that came to that when we were having the anthem sung, it was uh, it was incredible. It felt like we were up uh, in Murrayfield. So um, yeah, no, we uh, we can't thank the, the, the sport that came out and off. Um, you know, we, we always say that Scotland fans are the best in the world, but um, yeah, you know, it's, their support is truly appreciated. We're out of the tournament. We you, I suppose you come to a World Cup to win it, and um, we're out of it now. So I'm really disappointed and. Yeah, I suppose it take me a couple of weeks to get over it, over it and last uh, rugby, I suppose, and go back home to my family and regroup. <laughs> I think tonight we got dominated at ruck time. Um, they had their, I suppose, their dominance at set piece as well. Um, but ultimately, we got beaten by a better team tonight, honestly, and um, they're a very good team and a very balanced team across the board in terms of set piece dominance, ruck dominance, defense is good, attacks obviously very good. and. Um, yeah, we fell short in all those departments and that's why we got beaten by the score that we got beaten by, so disappointed. Yeah, definitely, and it was one of our big motivations is trying to perform for uh, the World Cup uh, travelling supporters, uh, the Scottish supporters, so um, oh, I'm so grateful to be out, you know, have the opportunity to play in front of them and obviously you've got your own family in the crowd as well, so I feel really blessed that I've had this World Cup and my own family in the crowd as well. It's kind of a cool memory, obviously it's not the best memory, but... Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm grateful.